reading, Thank You, story written by Stephen Elkins, based on the Dove Award song by Ray Bolts. I dreamed I went to heaven and you were there with me. In my dream, I remember holding mom's hand tightly as we stood before the gates of heaven. As the gates opened, I saw the most beautiful place I had ever seen. Inside, we walked upon the streets of gold and beside the crystal sea. The sea sparkled like diamonds and God's light shone all around. Mom always told me that heaven was the eternal home for everyone who believed in Jesus. We heard the angels singing and someone called your name. We both turned to see who it was, but all we could hear was the sound of angels singing and harps playing. Then we heard them call your name again. We turned and saw the young man, and he was smiling as he came, and he said, Friends, you may not know me now. I was a young boy the last time I saw you. It's Stephen Charles, Mom exclaimed, only he's grown up now. Stephen was a rowdy boy who attended her Sunday school class. She didn't ever think he listened to any of the Bible stories she taught. And then he said, but wait, you used to teach my Sunday school when I was only eight. I know I misbehaved and caused you a lot of trouble, Stephen said, but I was always listening. I loved hearing those wonderful Bible stories you told me. You taught me how much Jesus loves me. And every week you would say a prayer before the class would start. And one day, when you said that prayer, I asked Jesus into my heart. Stephen said he had gone home one Sunday afternoon and told his mom and dad about Jesus' love. He prayed for his parents, just like you had prayed for him. And look over there, he said. Because of your prayers, my mom and dad are here in heaven too. Then another man stood before you and said, Remember a time a missionary came to your church and his pictures made you cry? The missionary lived thousands of miles away in an African village and you heard about his people who were very poor. They did not have Bibles to read and the need was great. Mom, you explained to me that by praying and giving, we were playing a part in helping others hear about God's love. You didn't have much money, but you gave it anyway. Jesus took the gift you gave and that's why I'm here today. The man explained, with the gift you gave, I was able to get a Bible in my own language, and I read it every day. Without your gift, I might never have had the chance to read the Bible and learn about Jesus. One by one they came, as far as the eye could see, each life somehow touched by your generosity. How can this be, Mom said to me. I don't even know these people. There are so many. Then finally I understood. Mom, I said to her, when you gave to one person, that person gave to another and another. These are the lives you've touched by being a faithful follower of Christ. Little things that you had done, sacrifices made, unnoticed on this earth, in heaven now proclaimed. Then you took my hand and said, when we ask Jesus into our heart, he begins working through us to help others. Look at the lives have been touched. Yet I did not do any of these things on my own. It was God working through me. 
And I know up in heaven, you're not supposed to cry, but I am almost sure there were tears in your eyes. At that moment, we heard the voice of Jesus saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. I was so happy to think Jesus was pleased. As Jesus took your hand and you stood before the Lord, he said, my child, look around you, for great is your reward. I started to tell Jesus how much I loved him. Then suddenly I woke up and realized I had been dreaming. I jumped out of the bed and ran to mom. I couldn't wait to tell her the things I had dreamed. Mom, mom, I said. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I'm a life that was changed. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I'm so glad you gave. That's all for this.